Okay. And now it's ready to be exported to Autodesk CFD. Uh, but before we have to hide this level two elements and this level one element as well so that so that our model will be in the 000 axis when we export it to CFD Autodesk. Okay, cool. Now we can click on the save button here and then click on the add-ins. And as you can see here, we already have the launch active model add-ins for the Autodesk CFD. So make sure that you have this option in your add-ins in your Revit software. If you don't, then you have to go to your program files where you install your software and then find the CFD 2009 uh, folder. And in there, you'll have the CFD configs. I'll show you. So here, program files, Autodesk, CFD 2009. And you have to run the CFD config here. Okay, and after that, there will be a choice if you want to to have an add-ins in your Revit, this FD add-ins on your Revit. Okay, cool. Okay, so now I'm ready to launch it in CFD Autodesk. Click on this one. And we will get a table like this and just click launch. It will take a while. Cool. Gonna make it okay. 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 Okay, we're gonna close this geometry tools window for now. As you can see, this is our model here. It's cool. So as you can see here, um, the internal volume, which is the air in the room, will be automatically created inside the model. As if I hide the ceiling here, so this is what is called the volume is the air volume inside the room, inside the model, which is automatically created when you export a model from Revit to Autodesk CFD. That's cool, right? 